зрители, мы с вами продолжаем проходить LA Noir. Мы по-прежнему находимся в отделе по расследованию убийств. И переходим к нашему новому делу под названием Убийство секретарь. we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Council. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside the railroad line. <coughs> 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Так, вот как интересно поворачиваться нас дела. В том смысле, что в ломбарде. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, Phelps? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Isn't that the cop who the guy who was pretending to be dead? Lombardi значит заложили то кольцо. Это значит, что все-таки убийца на свободе. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Ну что ж, посмотрим. Амбар. Прошу прощения, заговариваюсь опять. Стал сегодня ломбард, конечно, я хотел сказать ломбард. You got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators, Cole, Hugo Moller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Да, кстати, он утверждал, что его подставили. И вообще, во многих делах такое впечатление, что людей подставили. Сложно пока, правда, сообразить, как. Впрочем, подложить на видное место улики, когда люди не дома, и мы их обнаруживали просто раньше. Чем те возвращались? Ну, не знаю. Надеюсь, докопаемся до истины. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? Fifty bucks? Try another number. Twenty? Try ten. You feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Молодец, Расти, быстро договорился. Does this mark mean anything? Hallmark. Gives you an idea of the quality. Mm -hmm. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Hartfield's это же из нашего первого дела, которого мы посадили. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? He goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm not sure. Medium height, medium build. Dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Да, по сути, ничего. Это нам не, ничем это нам не помогло, ничего такого мы не узнали. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Придется. Fine. Where are we headed? Нам просто ехать и смотреть. В чем заключается новое дело? А это, видимо, пока придется отложить. We have a problem. We 
could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. Herp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine. The man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Интересно, Евгения, да, точно. Ведь те письма, э, там было одно из стихотворений Шелли, и тут он зарегистрирован под именем, под именем Шелли. You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the ring under our hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. Part. Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Она по крайней мере не раздета и вроде послания на ней нету. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Что ж, давай посмотрим. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Да, снова пропало кольцо. Так, на этой руке у нас ничего такого нет. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Wouldn't park there if I were you. That's speech games called the bar. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in '41. И она хранится с тех пор. Что у нас здесь? Половина письма.
was trying to get her to come home. Так, ну, значит, мать хотела излечить ее от алкоголизма. Ну, скорее всего, мать. Так, ну что ж. На этом все улики. Так, их двое. Ну, давайте. Тут стоит напарник с этим поговорим. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Blind. Урод, а? Classic Carmine. Wouldn't park there if I were you. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. Took a look. Странное выражение лица, конечно, но вроде он на самом деле не берет. Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde. You get this sack of shit into a cell. I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Правильно, Rusty, так и надо, блин. Так, ну узнаем адреса. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's liquor. Close the store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. Что ж, когда поедем? Сначала в этот магазин. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? You read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? No, no, we just know that Phelps is right. So, ну значит, для начала займемся этим магазинчиком. Что за список вещей такой был?
What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? We'll take a look around. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Serious, no? And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday night. Exactly, did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. What the fuck? What's that? 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 Came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. No, не думаю, что она врет. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it, but she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Are you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robin? Not many people will be sad she's gone. Probably one of the few. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay in here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. We are struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. 
постараемся, мистер Робинс. Что ж, теперь, я думаю, нам нужно отправиться в этот бар и поговорить, что скажут. You can drive. Извините, я опять заговариваюсь. А, посмотреть, что скажут нам там. Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Madge. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? A bunch of these guys. Ask around. Finbar. You a friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't have any. Answer the question. Evelyn mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers, and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Значит, это самый Маккефри. Ну знаешь, что-то не верится мне. Так. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Что-то я тебе не верю. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. <laughs> you say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. You're lying, McCaffrey. You look down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again. I barely knew the woman. Так, где доказательства? Hmm. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. Итак, у нас новый подозреваемый, но как-то все, как все подозрительно. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? А, стоп, куда ты меня повез? Я не успел поменять направление на центральное. А, нет, смотри-ка. 
привязка к центральное отделение. Captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. Are you liquored up? Опять что-то интересненькое. Seems like a decent guy. Знаете, на этом мы, наверное, завершим серию, потому что, возможно, сейчас произойдет какое-то развитие сюжета и серия может удлиниться. Так что мы закончим сейчас, продолжим в следующий. Спасибо, что смотрели. Подписывайтесь на канал, пишите комментарии. Увидимся. Пока-пока-пока.